They break up the Sabercats after 11 straight losses to open their program over the last two years. Vela has now won two straight, including their first ever district game this past Thursday. You just saw Iber Lopez, the beautiful pass to Steven DeLuna, and then Gennaro Cavazos takes it all in the rest of the way. Vela wins again, and now they just look to keep that winning streak going. Well, we hope to win. We work, hope to work together as a team, offense, defense, special team. We all hope to work together and help us our defense get us the ball, special team as well, and get us the win. When we left yesterday, our school, our offensive coordinator put, it all depends on offensive line, and I think the offensive line, they stepped up today, and they put it up and put some score points on us. I wouldn't have done it without them. Meanwhile, the second game of the week at Cats Stadium may be even more anticipated as Edinburgh Economides and Edinburgh North both went into this game 2-0, and oh, but in the end, it was all about Edinburgh North. The offense getting it done, Adrian Alvarez and Matt Whitesides, the two-headed monster there at running back for the Cougars. There you saw Alvarez, here comes Whitesides, plus the defense getting it done. It's a 20 to nothing shutout as Edinburgh North proves they are the top team to look out for in Edinburgh. They thrive on that. They look for that. That's, that's what they talk about every day. And I uh, had that big stand here with that fumble recovery. And they, they just work hard. And they want that zero. It's special. We got a lot of kids, 44 seniors, and, and they want a special season. And, and they've worked for it. And uh, it shows out here. It shows out in every practice. And the offense needs to come along. But uh, defensively, they're ready to play. Roy Garza says the offense needs to come along. Joe, what are your thoughts? You saw the game. Well, that defense is strong. I said that at the beginning of the year. They're, they're real strong. Their offense, hey, platooning tailbacks like they are, that, that's enough offense with that kind of defense. That, that's plenty. What do you think about this Cougars defense? How long until they let up a point there, Tom? Uh, I think I mentioned yesterday when we, we did a little webcast, it might be until uh, the Sherryland game in Week 9. I mean, like, I don't, I'm not sure who's going to be able to score on this on this defense straight up. Now that you get a short field, ball at the 5, ball at the 10 off a fumble or something, and then, you know, somebody can walk in it at that point. But straight up on this defense, it is going to be really tough. They are strong all the way around, really big up front, really strong in the middle of the, with the linebackers, and then very athletic in the secondary. That linebacking core is definitely something to see. Meanwhile, Vela will try to go th for three straight against the team that just lost at Cat Stadium on Friday. It will be Sabercats versus Jaguars, Vela and Economides. Todd, who have you got winning this game? Um, I've got Edinburgh Economides, but it is not the most confident pick in the world. I like this Vela team coming into the year. I thought that they you know, were a team maybe ready to make a little bit of a move depending on what happened. They are still very young. They only have the two wins. And that is, uh, you know, a big start for the program, but I don't think they're quite ready yet for a really big game like this. Your thoughts, Joe? Well, I think Economies is the better football team, but I think you can actually have a letdown after a loss. And I think that they're, they're due for a letdown. Maybe take Vela a little light, thinking, well, we're going to beat them anyway, and Vela gets the win. I'm going to go with Economides. I think Tony Izaguirre will go for over 150 yards in this one. I think we'll see more uh, passes to Reyes Paz from Alvarez. I think Economides' offense will be too much for Vela to handle. We are Coming right back on Sunday Sports Extra, we're talking about the Co Coastal Bend Crucible that Mission went through. A tough game against Toloso Midway's Warriors. We'll talk about that. Plus, check out the highest scoring game of the week and a San Benito team that comes up with a big upset at home. It's all next.